we web developers really love to take shortcuts. If there's a shortcut to be taken, you can rest assured that an experienced web developer will most certainly take it. Now in jQuery, there's a little shortcut called chaining, which basically lets you run multiple methods in a single statement on the same element. It looks a little bit like this. I'm just going to code something out right here. I'm going to select the box one ID, and then I'm going to start chaining. So I'm just adding multiple jQuery methods in the same statement like so. And then I'll add one more method here. So there we go. We have a single statement with multiple jQuery methods. And so basically this element here would fade in on load of the browser, then a delay of 2000 milliseconds or two seconds would happen. Then the CSS background would uh, change and then it would slide uh, down. This is just, I just threw a bunch of these together. I don't know what this would actually look like or how well it would work, but that's the idea instead of uh, doing something more inefficient. So basically, we before we knew about chaining, we would have done this, this same statement, uh, but like this right here. So we would have had uh, we would have had the same thing, but in, in four separate lines. And then the reason why this is bad practice is because now the browser has to look for box one four separate times. And why make the computer compute more than it has to compute? Does that make sense? So if we're going to be efficient, you could just chain this, the, the methods all together in one single statement, as long as you're selecting the same element. Now, if you're using, you know, if you're doing separate elements, obviously chaining is not going to do it for you. But if you're using the same element, in this case, box one, four times, just chain the darn methods all together and then you can actually be more efficient and take that shortcut that we were just talking about. Now, let me do a real world example to show you how chaining actually works so I can prove to you I'm not just doing hocus pocus jQuery magic. Go to your, uh, well, create a file called chaining.html or go ahead and just download, throw it in your directory here uh, and just we could just carry on. But if you're the type who wants to practice your HTML and code this out, then you are most certainly welcome to do so. Just hit the pause button, copy out what I added here. Uh, we have our normalize and styles and we have uh, the main thing we have here is a div with the class of notification bar and just some text and a link within there. And that being said, I also added some styles to the styles.css, simply to the notification bar and the A tag there, just so we can see uh, what it would look like. Now, right now it's display none, um, simply because uh, jQuery is going to do some stuff to make it appear. So let's go back to our script.js. And now what we're going to do is we're going to select that notification bar. So class notification bar. And then I'm going to start chaining. So I'm going to say delay, which is jQuery uh, method for delaying um, anything after to happen. So I want to delay by one second. So wait one second before I slide down. And then I'm going to delay again another one second. And then I'm going to fade out. So just something very simple and probably not incredibly useful, but just to show you kind of how this works. So I'm going to show you in the browser. So one second, slide down, another second, fade out. Let me just make these last a little bit longer just so you can see. So it should delay two seconds, slide down, delay three seconds, then fade out. Slide down, one, two, three, fade out. There you go. And so that is how you chain. Now I could have done these, like I said, in four separate um, statements, but why would I do that when I can actually uh, be more efficient? So anytime you have multiple jQuery methods that you need to run on the same element, just chain it, baby. <laughs>